Amen. Um, it's such a joy to be on this platform to share God's word with you. My heart is particularly excited that we are about to share together in the word of faith. And God's word is our key to the fulfillment of our glorious destiny. And today I want us to just discuss about an important aspect of our walk with God, and this is our life in the Spirit. The Bible said in Galatians chapter 5, verse 16, it said, Walk ye therefore in the Spirit, and that you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Now, it's an important aspect of our life that every believer should consider our life is a life in the Spirit. We have too long lived the life in the flesh and allow the flesh to control every area of our life. When God wants us to be men and women of the Spirit. And uh, today I just want to encourage you that it is possible to live that life in the Spirit. It is possible to put the flesh under subjection and allow the Holy Spirit to rule, to reign in our life and to be the one that guides us in all things. It's important to know that the Bible said, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Ours in the kingdom of God is a life in the Spirit. And the life in the Spirit is simply a life that He's inspired and empowered by the Holy Spirit. A life inspired, empowered, and enabled by the Holy Spirit. You see, God wants us to live the life according to His own Spirit. And that's why the Bible said, He's put His Spirit in us. The Bible even said, if anyone have not the Spirit of Christ, is none of his. Now, we can't say we are of Christ, and we are not walking in the Spirit of Christ. It is important as believers to know that our life and our walk should be after the Spirit of Christ. And if you aren't walking by the leading of the Spirit of God, the Bible said, we are not of his. We are not of this. The question, therefore, that somebody might want to ask is how do I walk in the Spirit? And it's simple. It's, you, you've got to be born of God, be born of the Spirit, allow the transformation of the Holy Spirit to take place in your life by your new birth, accepting the saving grace of Christ, repenting from every known sin, in your life, asking Christ to come into your life as your Lord and Savior, this gives you the entrance into the life in the Spirit, which is called a life in the Kingdom of God. And when you have done this, you need constant connection with the Word of God, which is carrying the life of God. Constant connection with the Word of God will feed your spirit man and allow your spirit to be alive and strong to be able to respond to the voice and the leading of the Holy Spirit. It's important that you also get baptized in the Holy Spirit and this is the endowment of power that enable you to live the Christ life and enable you to live the Kingdom life which is a life in the Spirit. And today I want to encourage you as you follow through in the journey of faith, giving your life to Christ, getting connected with the Word constantly, and then seeking the baptism of the Holy Spirit, which is the baptism of power. This changes your life and keeps you connected and strong enough to be able to withstand all of the pressures and the temptations that come your way because by your own strength you cannot do it. And today I'd like to encourage you to consider the wise word that God has spoken to you today. Give your life to Christ.
get connected with the word constantly. Seek the baptism of the Holy Spirit and ask for it by faith and receive it. Recognize the voice of the Holy Spirit and follow his leading in all things. And you will find out that the fruit you will begin to bear in your life will be the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And your life will not be controlled by the flesh. And I want to give you an invitation today if you haven't given your life to Christ at all to consider accepting the Lord Jesus as your Lord and Savior. He wants to deliver you from the power of sin. He wants to forgive you. As you confess and repent of all sins, He's willing to cleanse you of all unrighteousness and make you His own. And if you are making that decision, I pray that the grace of God will keep you through the journey and you will walk and walk strong in the Spirit in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.